I wanted to start off small with a macro shot of a piece of sodium no bigger than a pea. You can see that the reaction begins to happen almost immediately. You can see the surface of the sodium begins to bubble and boil, which is really the production of hydrogen gas happening immediately upon contact. I want you to notice how violent this is. You can see in slow motion that this entire reaction is just throwing off particles of water and tiny, tiny chunks of sodium in all directions. Directions. It really is like some kind of volcanic eruption. And you can also see the sodium is floating on the surface of the water. You can see a film of the sodium with ripples in it, so you can tell it's molten. And as the water is consumed in the reaction, more and more and more of the sodium is revealed there. Here, I wanted to get another really ultra close-up shot with my macro lens in slow motion. You can see that, again, as this water droplet hits the surface of this sodium here, it immediately begins to bubble there, producing hydrogen gas. Heat is generated because of the chemical reaction and the electrons being rearranged come crashing down into lower energy states, generating a lot of heat. And uh, ultimately, this hydrogen will ignite if there's enough water and enough heat present, but the flame on the hydrogen is almost completely transparent and difficult to see. You can see that as the reaction gets going, first it's sort of like gentle simmer and then it turns into a completely consuming sort of boiling motion, again throwing off these particles. And all of this happens in just a couple of seconds when we look at the original footage that I showed you just a second ago. And once again, you can see the bits of sodium floating on the surface of the water ball that's basically there because it's almost like the Terminator and beginning to kind of melt and change shape right before your eyes. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.